Hi guys, welcome back to Blueprint Gaming. I am Jay, and we are continuing here with Transport Fever 2. Uh, the nice thing now that I'm rolling in a little extra cash is I don't have to let the game run as much between episodes. We're pretty much back four months in the future to in-game time. I know I'm playing at a little slower speed, but either way, uh, we're back a little faster because one, I said money's rolling in. As a matter of fact, talking about money rolling in, let's take a look at all of our tracks and see what their current income level is and see if we can figure these out. The food one does worry me a little bit, but I can easily get that one fixed and actually it's easily going to be fixed. Once we get the new level of road vehicles, I'll get that one fixed to be more profitable. It seems to be a little over the place. We can definitely uh, fix that one up, but for right now it's fine as is. Um, I think overall it might be breaking even, netting me a little bit of profit, but honestly, our bread and butter right bread and butter right now is our coal and iron ore um, at the rate of any of the logs, right? These four, these top three lines, um, if we like these, these top three lines, right? They're just our bread and butter, um, making us the most amount of money. Playing some machine shop, it we can make more there, but unfortunately, right now it just is what it is until we're able to deliver more logs. Coming in the future, once again, we'll have a, like an uh, an episode where we just completely update all of our lines. Um, with the cash rolling in, it's pretty good. Hopefully it comes soon because I got plenty of cash to spend. Anyways, uh, we need to save our shops, right? We still have this one here that can close on us that the game would randomly pick it for closure. And we can easily save it from closure by hooking it up to our machine shop here, which is what we're going to do this episode. So one, if I remember correctly, this one should already be formatted for 120. Oh, wh where, where are you for real? Where are you? Where Um, are you convenient? No, not really. All right. All right. So more convenient one did not spawn. All right. Fine by me. You always got to check them out, right? You always got to check them out. Anyways. Uh, so let's, anyway, so let's save this one from closing, hooking it up here and let's get started with reconfiguring this for our second line. Platforms. For real? Why did Train 7 have a problem? Uh, let's pause the game real quick. You went out on the wrong track. Why did you go out on the wrong track? What's wrong with you? I see you're in bad condition, but that's no, that's no excuse for stupidity. Why did it do that? Once again, guys, we are playing on a beta build. Um, I'm assuming that maybe that's just a bug with beta. Hopefully that doesn't uh, continue over into the main game once it's here. Now, next we got to do is we got to pause this. And, and now we're going to cause a real issue, which we'll fix easily. Uh, we're just going to get rid of this. Easy peasy. And make new tracks. go double switch yes trim off the extra i think i'm going to trim off a little bit more than this all right that should be fine there the reason why i trim a little extra because you still want to make sure this keeps up 180 and sometimes or 120 and sometimes it doesn't so by giving it extra space to make whatever moves it needs to make it keeps it up at its max speed which we have right there awesome all right now that that's set up, let's go ahead and set up this other side, um, which we're going to keep straight going here. And another reason why I like doing this is to make sure that any expansions, uh, we most likely don't have to do, we won't have very, very many issues, I should say. I, I don't, that's eh, fine. See a different speed limit up here. Actually, hold on. This should be fixed. We can go back to fast speed. All right, cool. Oh, trim off the extra. Always trim off the extra. All right, cool. And then we got to find a spot to have this split off. Uh, is there any level spot? Actually, right out of the tunnel. Actually, right out of the tunnel is probably my best, best bet. 
So we go here to here. Nope, further back. That's actually good. All right. Ah, oh, trees are in my way from seeing. And uh, it's not quite where I want it to be. Uh, actually, if it goes a little slower than 120, it's fine. That's what I want right there. Uh, no problem is I can't see. All right, boom. All right, and even up. And then what we want to do is take this. Uh, I'll have to fix the road later. I can't even see where they hit this track. Um, all right, now if we keep this straight, I don't know if this is uphill or downhill. Uh, I'm assuming downhill. <laughs> Based on this slope, I'm assuming downhill. Um, that is wonky. Um, all right, let's... All right. So what I did is I pressed the end key there and it automatically draw, like it will go to the middle and just like drop it or raise it depending if I press the M or the N. I pressed the N and dropped it a little bit. So now what I want to do is actually come and zoom in here and I want to raise it a little bit by hitting M because right. I don't want. Never mind. All right. That's about the best I'm going to get without having collision issues. Which is not bad. Not bad. I guess I can live with that. And it's going to be running downhill at our full and going uphill empty. <laughs> Yay! About time that works out of my way. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's call it. Boom. All right. Easy peasy, get the signals. All right, so what we want to do is have it going this way. Uh, I do want to break here. Always got to break at the railroads, or at the railroad crossings. And then here, we want a signal there and a signal there. And. I'm going to signal there and put a signal here. Right, somewhere in the middle. I just want to make sure that there's a, like a, you cleared, <laughs> uh, you cleared it all. We'll just put one on the opposite. Now nah, leave it there that way. All right. So, all right, let's break this down some more since it's going to get a little bit more cluttered. All right, cool deal. All right, let's add the line. Actually, hold on, we got a problem. Uh, has anybody figured out what the problem is yet? Uh, the problem is, is now I'm going to have the issue of three different, uh, three different stations coming to one platform. All right, I know I'm going to solve it, but, uh, yeah, all right, I'm going to solve it. And I need to fix my coal line to solve it. Uh, so first things first, let me go ahead and add this line. We're going from there to here. And you should be going into line two. Yeah, straight in. Awesome. All right, and let's rename you train for delivering steel to machine shop. Uh, let's recolor you to a steelish color. That's steel color. Let's go there. That's kind of a steel color. Kind of hard to see, but hey, it's steel color. All right, so that's ready to go. And I just need shoot. <laughs> Took too much time away. All right, I need, I need this emptied. Uh, so as soon as he go, oh, there's another train all the way. Empty fast, empty fast. Wow, I'm at seven million already. Oof, you guys are doing a fantastic job. I see 1866 is about where I come up. I really don't know when I get these new road vehicles, but they can't get here soon. I can't get here fast enough. All right, I'm gonna get ready to pause. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And pause. All right. So, what did I do here? Time out. This is wrong. That should be a train track. Better. All right. And then we are going to delete this. Really need to delete this back. This is really gonna hurt. All right, that's good there. Have you come like that? Signals. All right, and did this automatically recalculate you guys' terminals? No, it did not. We need you to terminal three. All right, that's good. Coal is great. Iron ore. We are now going to do this because so it doesn't make a difference now. Oh, I need Wichita, Wichita, uh, either or. All right. Oh, this actually adds another problem though. Shoot. That's like the best thing I'm going to do. All right, cool. All right. So at least I still get trains on these lines. Woohoo. All right. All right. I think everything's great. Everything's all right with the world. Speed it back up. There we go. Make sure there's no issues. Looks good. Feels good. All right. Let's get trains ready to go. We'll start one at a time with one thing we say we don't want to have a rate that's higher than we can produce. Absolutely. It's the last thing we want. Uh, we need, uh, we need the flat car to, uh, to deliver steel. Uh, once again, we're going to go to that 106 meters and by, we'll probably, well, assuming we're not over, uh, we will be adding more to this. All right, let's keep a look. Oh, now you come out of the depot right away. I don't know why that last train we we did. I don't know if that was, that was probably last episode we did. And it just stood in the depot forever. Now you're going to slow that one down, but that's fine. All right. And what does it say my rate is? All right, one thing I want to do, you guys can probably see what is in the future episode, is turn off... Interesting. Uh, I'm going to turn off uh, the ups and downs, which I actually already had to turn off. Maybe that's why I didn't see a plus thing icon that one time. As it now remembers what you did last instead of like automatically resetting every save. Good quality of life. Uh, let's see. You are the steel. Good news is we'll have some steel here when it first starts. I don't know why it paused though. Actually, what I'm going to do is add a signal. It didn't stop for some steel. Where in the hell are you going? <laughs> you didn't stop for steel and I can't reverse you because you'd be going in the opposite direction. Uh, well, I guess the, the, the first fly through might just be a freebie. Uh. Yeah, 
Interesting. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hate to have to waste time like this, but I mean something funky. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I mean, like I said, it could have been my setup mistake. Um, but obviously, by the time I caught it, it was too late. The train was already um, going in a direction for me to reverse it. Would have been would would not have been good. It's just better to like suck up the loss and. Uh, when I, what I am still sick with is I want to make sure I'm pretty sure I did everything right, but I want to make sure it does pick up well, as it goes back through, like that's going to be really, really important. And actually we can zoom in a little bit more, right? If you like some scenery, we can zoom in a little bit more. Um, uh, we'll keep an eye on it here. It's, and this, this is, this is always very important. Like, like don't like just build something, assume it works and move on. I can't tell you how many times, uh, I've done that and I ended up like it caught like it cost me. It either set me back, especially in the early game, can cause me to go bankrupt. Um, and just something I can't re rebound from, right? Especially beginning of the game, you really can't afford mistakes in the beginning of the game. Um, because there's there's no way to get your money back, especially if you play on harder difficulties where you just don't get money for refunds. Um right, there's plenty of steel, so it's recognizing the steel line. So that's a positive. All right, I just want to make sure it picks up steel. I want to double check the rate. That's annoying. I feel like these two lines are going to slow each other down a lot. All right, full load. Okay, so everything's good there. And that's going to make a lot of money. Unfortunately, it's going to lose a lot of money first. All right, so what's my rate? Uh, 77. Okay, so we, right now our rate's 77. That seems like a lot. It really does seem like a lot, considering that the train only holds 63. I would have thought it would have been less than 63. 77. Because I can't even, actually at 77, I can't even afford to put a second train on. Because if I put a second train on, I'll be transferring at a rate much higher than what I'm delivering uh, coal and iron ore. And that's not good. That's not good one bit. Is it really 77? So one of the things I could do here to help balance it out is one, get a second train. Like I definitely want a second train to keep the frequency up. But what I could do is eliminate the number of cars. Like this one, I could I could take a car off, uh, get it down by one. Because right now, honestly, what I need to settle one is 100, 102, 101. Yeah, 101 is where I need to settle. Uh, thanks for telling the new industry. I'm, I'm trying to do math in my head here as we go. There, we'll, I'll do some. We'll, we'll we'll follow this train along as we do. We, as I try to do my math. All right. So yeah, logs, iron ore. Okay. Can there a way to lock you guys? Stop switching. Stop switching, please. All right. So. All right. Let's find you right here. So coal, two hundred four, which means I can deliver steel at one hundred two. Iron ore is better than that. So 102 is my steel number. Currently I'm delivering steel faster than a 78. How many car? I mean, when I get a clear shot, I'm going to see how many cars I have. I, I got to figure out how I got to modify this to get two trains and not over deliver. Calculator. All right. So I have how many trains? Well, how many wagons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So nine. So I went 78 divided by nine, eight point six. Um, all right. So can I remember that? How do you, all right, we'll say 8.66, 8.66. And I need to deliver at a rate of a hundred and well, apparently now 101, 101 divided by 8.66. So I need 11 wagons. So 12, which means I have to cut it down to six. Ugh, it just doesn't sound good. It sounds like I'd be losing more money than anything else. I would need to get my coal rate up, but there's really no way to get my coal rate up without extending the platforms. And I'd probably want to wait to have a better train for that. So I think I'm stuck with just one train. It kind of sucks. 
so I, I don't want to cut like if i could just cut this down to eight i'd be okay but uh, according to the math i would have to cut each train i'd have to cut this train down to six wagons and then duplicate and make another train with six wagons which is really going to cut down on my profit uh, i mean by a lot um not worth it one bit so that's where we're at with that um so i guess the next step since there's nothing else we can do here currently is to hook up this down to torrents which i'm not gonna lie looks like a real big problem um Uh, let's see what time I have left in this episode. Let me see if I can, uh, get this set up. So I have two options. I can Yui out of here and go, which might be my best option. And then connect into here. Oof. Um, but it looks like I'm only going to be able to ship about 70 machine parts, which is probably going to be one train. Doesn't seem all that, it doesn't seem all that great. All right, guys, I'm not actually going to build anything else right now because I think if I build anything else right now, it's going to cut into our next episode, but the next episode challenge is going to be connecting this down to here and, uh, getting delivery into our town here, which I believe our town, I think our town's building wonky. Uh, what does our town look like? We have. Oh no, it's not. I mean, they're kind of, they're kind of staying in their own territory. We have some mixture going on here, but it's not too bad. And maybe, maybe just maybe we might actually get to 1867 uh, and maybe that's where our vehicles pop in. Have our vehicles popped in, popped in yet? And the answer is no. All right. I might have to end up changing this from one quarter speed to half speed, um, but we'll see. We'll cross that bridge uh, during the next episode. So yeah, so much to do. So much to look forward to. Uh, we're definitely, I can pause right here if I really wanted to, to make sure that we don't lose this plant. Cause right now we could still lose this and it would just destroy us right inside. We would just be destroyed. <laughs> um, but either way, guys, uh, sorry for being dramatic. If you're enjoying the series, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you don't want to miss the next episode and don't forget to leave a comment and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.